Okay. Let's listen to Juan Carlos and his classmates. Okay. Okay, teacher. The conversation and adding about the warranty, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, Suleyma. Suleyma, please. Sorry, just a new apagado. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much for calling Lina and speaking. How thing help you? Hi Linda. Could you give give me some information about the pro washer? Of course, it's as a capacity of fine to weave it a turbo procession and the intelligent cable. Keyboard. 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 Thank you. Dear. I see. Can you give give me information about the warranty? Sorry, could you repeat that please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The guarantee the warranty of the is for maximum two years. Okay. Eh, continuamos con las preguntas, teacher. No, not yet, not yet. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank you, Suleima. Okay, we want to hear <clears throat> Carlos Alberto, please. Silvio Bikini. Okay. Teacher, I, I changed the, <laughs> the conversation. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. We want to see your creativity. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Silvio is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Silvio. Could you give me some information about the iPhone 31? Of course. It has a capacity 3 terabytes for memory and cam of 4K. I see. Give me. Uh, can you give me information about the accessories? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Mm -hmm. Can you give me information about uh, of accessories? Thanks. The accessory you could buy for additional price. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Great. Did you have a good, uh, I mean, a good experience, Carlos, buying this iPhone? I think this guy didn't want to give you any information, right? <laughs> hey, you did a good job, guys. You did a good job. Okay, now let's see. Annie, please. Okay, permítame. Mm-hmm. Eliseo o Ana del Mí, era usted. Ahí. Ok. ¿Quién, quién, con quién? It doesn't matter. Uh, start with okay. one of them and then do it with the other one. Ani, okay. Ani and Ana. It's perfect. Ok. Thank you so much for corn. Linda, is parking hot okay, help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It's as capacity of for, for, for ten two. Could die, die stains, turbo processor and intelligent bear keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm, I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Trans, the warranty on is a for the jewel is a player's online for man, manufacturing defects. 
Okay. Only teacher. Okay, okay. Now I understand. Okay, <laughs> nice, nice. Yes. So, four years, you said four years is the warranty? And you said about uh, when, the, I mean, when does your warranty apply? Two when? years. Uh, two years applies only in manufacturing defects. Okay, there you are. Great. So now let's listen to Carlos Eduardo, please. Hello, Linda. I'm sorry, Carlos. Linda, we are in page 21 in our manuals. There okay, is a conversation. Teacher. It's about can and could uh, asking for information and requesting politely. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. There you are. Carlos Eduardo. Okay. With your Giovanni. Giovanni. Giovanni, sir. I see only Giovanni Pineda. Were you with Giovanni? No, oh, no Giovanni I see Ramirez. Giovanni Ramirez. There you are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The thing is that I can see only teacher, your teacher, arm. Teacher. I just see only your arm. <laughs> 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 yeah, you have to do this. Giovanni, like you start. Ahorita, 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 ahorita. There you are. Solo que no me abre. Eh. Eh. El manual. Ahí está. Okay. Thank you so much for calling. Giovanni is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Giovanni. How do how do you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It has a, a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet O2 processor in an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I am sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for two years. Only cover and repair or replace parts for Factory failures. Okay, failures, okay, failures, failures. Uh huh. Okay, there you are. So, guys, um, the first part of the conversation is how to answer the phone. If you see, this is a uh, conversation on the phone. So, let's remember that there are some intonation that we have to show when we speak. Uh, it add some value, it add some meaning to the conversation. Cuando nosotros le agregamos entonación a la conversación, tanto en español, en inglés o en cualquier idioma, le agrega un significado, ¿verdad? Le agrega, eh, incluso si no le escucharon todo, Pero con la entonación saben que es una pregunta, saben que está enojado, saben que está um, eh, eh, contento o está satisfecho, ¿verdad? Del cliente o la persona con quien usted está hablando, sea quien sea, ¿verdad? Ahora, como dicen ahora, como esto está de moda, venga de donde venga, ¿verdad? <ríe> Entonces, um, in, in the news you can hear that, venga de donde venga, lo vamos a... Combatir, right? So, yeah. Okay. Bye. No me han caso, pero no me han caso. <laughs> okay, but yes, intonation. Intonation is very important. So let's try to do this. Okay. Let's try to do this. Esa es una excelente manera de contestar, tal como está en el manual. Um, en este caso decía su nombre primero, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. And primero agradece. And then she say, thanks so much for calling. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Linda speaking. How can I help you? Okay. Entonces, vamos a hacer eso. Cada uno escríbalo con su nombre. Okay. Y pensemos y grabémonos que esa es la forma de contestar muy fácilmente usando 
esa pregunta. How can I help? Okay. So, yo podría decir, thanks so much for calling. Carmen speaking. How can I help you? Okay. Imaginémonos que estamos al teléfono. Okay. Vamos a ver. Kevin, Ana, pongamos a Kevin después de Linda. Okay, Linda va a contestar el teléfono ahorita. She's going to answer. Only answering. Okay, ahorita ya solo contestar. So, we are going to say. Thanks so, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Great. Okay, now let's listen to Juan Carlos. Ring. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Juan Carlos is speaking. How can I help you? Excellent. Ahora, démosle un poquito de más entonación al teléfono, ¿verdad? Imagínense que usted está contestando el teléfono. Respire, no se ponga nervioso y póngale motivación, ¿ok? There we are. Así, una voz sexy, ¿ok? Cuando uno contesta, ¿verdad? Uno puede estar bla, 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 en la gran gritolera, pero... ¿Aló? Right? Something like that. ¿Ok? There Como you are. <laughs> Thanks so much for calling. Carmen speaking. How can I help you? Right? Something like that. Yeah? So, let, uh, not for men, obviously, right? Not for men. For men, it has to do like this, right? Right. You, you have to, uh, that style. Okay, let's listen to Nancy now, okay? Thanks so much for calling. Nancy, is speaking. How can I help you? Great, great, great. Okay, now let's listen to Carlos Eduardo. Thank you so much for calling. Carlos is speaking. How can I help you? Great, great. You see, now let's listen to Kevin. Good uh, evening. Uh, uh, thanks so much for calling Linda. Perdón, Kevin is speaking. How can I help you? Good. Excellent, Kevin. There you are. So now another me. Thanks so much for calling. Tell me is parking for Kevin. Hey, aren't you? Okay, again, say it with me. Thanks so much for calling. Say it with me. Thanks so Thanks. much for calling. Thanks so much for calling. Tell me, Tell is speaking. Me is speaking. Speaking. Is, is speaking. How can I help you? 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 I can't don't worry, don't worry. It's <laughs> okay, slowly, slowly. How uh, can I help you? How can I help you? Excellent. There you are. How can I help you? Great. So now let's How listen to. Yes. Thank you, Ana Delmi. Let's listen to Suleyma. Thank so for much calling. Suleyma is speaking. How can I help you? Great. Great. So now let's listen to Silvio. Thanks so much for calling. Silvio is speaking. How can I help you? Excellent. Now let's listen to Annie. <laughs> Annie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Page 21. Thanks, thanks so much for calling. Annie is speaking. How can I help you? Good. Excellent. Yes. There you are. There you are. So now Eliseo. Edwin Eliseo. Edwin. Are you there? Okay. 
I know you like the phone sound. I know you like the phone sound, Edwin. Tu llamada es muy importante. Yes. <laughs> Your call is very important for us. So please stay on the line, right? Something like this is going to appear. And the music. Yeah. And the music right there. Okay. Let's see. Well, Edwin, Edwin. Okay. Giovanni Ramirez. Hello, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, okay, Edwin, acción retardada. Let's go. Okay, Edwin, Edwin, Edwin first. I'm sorry, Giovanni, I know that you are anxious to participate, but now is Edwin ready, okay? Start, Edwin. Hello, how can I help you? <laughs> oh my God, hello, how can I help you? No, okay, come on, you've got to say your name. Oh, breathe in, breathe out, okay? <laughs> Thanks so much for calling. Primero Thanks. agradezca que le están llamando, okay? Thanks so much for calling. Thanks, Thanks so much for calling. Edwin okay. is speaking. Edwin is speaking. Okay. Edwin is speaking. How can I help you? How can I help you? There you are. Thank you very much, Edwin. Now, Giovanni Ramirez. Thank you for calling. Giovanni is speaking. How can I help you? Great! You did a nice job. Hey, everybody clap for Giovanni. There you are. You did a great job. Oh, my God. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. Again, again, again. Oh. Giovanni, Giovanni. Otra vez. Please, again, again. Nos dejó, nos dejó esperando. Ah, so you were waiting for the sound. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much for calling. Giovanni is speaking. How can I help you? Good. Nice. Nice. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now let's listen to. Hey, where is Giovanni Pineda? Are you ready? Thank you so much for calling. Giovanni is speaking. How can I help you? Good. Good. You did a good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Now, Carla, please. Thank you so much for calling. Veronica is speaking. How can I help you? Good. Good. Now, let's go because we have to complete the um, manuals. Okay. You did a very good job. You continue practicing and you can use these expressions from now on. Okay. Because that's the way to answer the phone. No solamente cuando usted está en su trabajo puede contestar así. También usted puede contestar así en cualquier momento. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver. Solo que usualmente decimos, aló, right? Okay, let's change it to a very uh, polite thing, right? A very warm, warming language. Okay, now let's go to the manual because there we have the pair work that you did, okay? So in this pair work, you should answer the three questions. So number one, let's go to number one. What did you write in number one, Juan Carlos? Question what, number one. Okay. What does Juan want to buy? Uh -huh. Juan want to buy a computer. A computer? Are you sure, guys? What is he buying? Washing machine. Washing machine. Washing machine. Okay, yeah. Uh, Juan Carlos, you wanted to buy a computer, I think, but this one in the conversation wants to buy a washer machine, okay? okay. Washer machine. 
because of the description they said, they were talking about the cubic feet. Uh, los pies cúbicos normalmente es para agua, ¿verdad? O para líquidos, ¿ok? Entonces okay. está hablando en la descripción eh, de una máquina de lavar ropa, ¿verdad? Ok. Thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Now, number two, please, Carlos Alberto. To what question can you say instead of repeat? Mm -hmm. um, information Call about repeat warranty. Again? Information about warranty. Instead, instead of saying, uh, uh, repeating the, or, or having the customer repeating the same question or just the information. Okay, okay. Yeah, but if, for example, the connection was not good or maybe she could barely hear the customer, ¿cómo podría decirse eso? Nosotros utilizamos una bien fácil y que siempre decimos, excuse me. Okay. Uh, uh, expecting for the other person repeat uh, instead of saying please repeat right so uh, we could ask excuse me right excuse me but what do you think it's better do you think it's better to say excuse me or do you think it's, it's better if you say can you repeat that for me please can you repeat yeah I think that's the best one too okay there you are. So, ¿alguien tiene alguna otra pregunta que puede decir en vez de, de please repeat? ¿Alguien tiene alguna otra idea de cómo preguntarle o decirle a alguien que repita algo? Can you say again, please? Okay, can you say that again, please? Okay. Can you say that again, please? Uh -huh. Tenemos una que es informal, okay, muy, muy, muy informal, y decimos, what was that? Okay, what was that? Okay, what was that? Pero eso es como muy informal y una forma coloquial, digamos, estamos frente a frente. Oh, what was that? Como quien dice, hey, no te entendí, no te oí, qué onda, right? Okay. Something like that. What happened? There we are. And let's put it here. Pero en la conversación formal, the best question is, can you say that again, please? Can you repeat? First of all, to apologize because you didn't hear very well. Even if it is not your fault. Aunque no sea su culpa, si usted es un agente de servicio o un agente de ventas, pues tiene que estarse disculpando cada vez, ¿verdad? Uh, pero para que esto se vea real y parezca real su malestar, o sea, se siente mal usted de no haberlo escuchado, puede decir, I'm sorry, como dice ahí en, en, la, en la conversación, en the conversation. Ok, now let's continue, guys. Number three. Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Tell me. Tell me. I want to listen to you guys, your opinions. Ana Cristina, what do you think? Number three. What do you think? Are they having a polite conversation or an impolite conversation? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Carlos Eduardo? Uh, it's polite. It's polite. Okay, it is a polite conversation, why? because use polite language. Okay. Because uh, the 
Ajahn is the profession. Again? Can you say that again, please? Okay, let's try to put this uh, in order. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's professional. The agent to conversation. Okay. They are, I mean, because the agent is professional in the conversation. Okay. Uh, Carlos Alberto said, uh, because they are using polite expressions. Oh, language, you say, right? Uh, language. There we are. Language. Yes, they are using a very polite um, expression. They are using could and they are using can, instead of just giving orders, right? Instead of being direct. Um, in this case, um, the customer and the agent as well are talking very politely, okay? There we are. Is there any question about this activity? Questions? No questions. Alguien tiene alguna otra respuesta que quiera comentarnos? No. Okay. <laughs> Let. Excuse me. Hey, attend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we are going to uh, take the attendance for the second time. Okay. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Ok, Ana Delmi. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. <coughs> Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Ivette Tova Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Ok, Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ok, there we are. So we are going to continue here and we are going to say some things very important about the use of can and could. So let me share the manual with you. Ok. And let's see this. How to use can and could. Uh, we are just uh, making a feedback. We remember that we can use can, asking for information or giving information, right? Um, also, we can use could in a very polite way, okay? And um, we can also like giving permissions is not so common, but yes, giving permissions. You can, you could, okay, do this and this and that. Okay, let's read because these are not questions. If you see, these are not questions. So I can give you my personal information. Okay, I can give you my, my personal information. So I am authorizing, right? I am authorizing, I agree giving you my personal information. That's the meaning here. 
no es que sí pueda de poder como una habilidad, ¿verdad? Pues yo creo que eso todos tenemos una identidad, ¿verdad? Una, una información personal. Entonces todos tenemos la habilidad de poder hacerlo. En este caso, I can give you my personal information is like an authorization, okay? Or a permission. Yes, I'm going to do it. I agree doing this thing. Now let's see, she can't pay for the washer right now. She can't pay for the washer right now, okay? She doesn't have the money. There is a reason, right? Now, can I have your credit card number? Can I have your credit card number? And the next one, can you tell me how many items you need? Can you tell me how many items you need? Okay, so we are asking or requesting for information, right? Also. We are like mm, asking for permission or an authorization, right? When we say, tell me, or can you say, we are asking for information, okay? But can I have your credit card number? It's not that you are going to possess that credit card number, that you can use it to the process then is the way that we are going to say this. Can I have your credit card number? Because that's a method of payment, right? Remember, credit card is a method of payment. You can pay cash, you can pay by a credit card, you can pay by requesting for a credit with installments, right? So credit card is a method of payment. So can I have your credit card number? It's like uh, requesting some information, but at the same time asking for permission to uh, use that information. So let's read the next one. You could try it with another credit card. You could try it with another credit card. Give us giving like an like advice, right? Just giving an advice. For example, um, the credit card that you gave me doesn't work. Yeah. There is a problem with your bank or something, right? then you could try with another credit card. Maybe my establishment, that, I mean, my enterprise doesn't accept that credit card from that bank that you use. So if you have another credit card, then you can use it. So you could try to uh, with another credit card. They couldn't give you my billing address. They couldn't give me my billing address. Está negando, okay, está negando que Imagínense, le están diciendo, bueno, eh, dieron una información y no la dio esa persona, ¿ok? They couldn't give me your, uh, give you my billing address. Usted no pudo haber recibido eso si yo no se lo dije, right? Something like that, like that um, scenario, ¿ok? They couldn't give you my billing address. Next one. Could you spell, I'm sorry, could you spell your last name? Could you spell your last name? Could we check the details of my order? Could we check the details of my order? Okay. Bien. Esta actividad la voy a postear en discussion. Okay, en discussion. La voy a postear ahí para que ustedes elaboren cuatro preguntas con sus respuestas utilizando can you and could you. Okay. Estamos en el contexto de asking for information, okay? requesting politely, y ubiquémonos normalmente en una conversación por teléfono, nos puede ayudar para que podamos hacer esta actividad. Yo la voy a postear en eh, la plataforma, ok? And we are going to start with the topic for tonight that it is May and Might. Okay, how to use may and how to use might. Now, um, we are going to page 23, but let me first uh, show you some slides because I have to give you a short or a briefing, right, about how to use and when to use my, may and might, okay? The purposes or, yeah, the purposes uh, of may and might usually, Mm, get us confused, uh, confused, I'm sorry, get us confused. So we have to have an open mind here. Pero primero, 
Ok, en este slide quiero que veamos una conversación, sí. Ok, let's see this conversation. It's a conversation with, between an agent and a customer, okay? Es similar to the one that you had already. Es muy similar a la que acaban de tener, okay? Now, the agent say, good morning, Shimmer and Shine Incorporated. How may I help you? Good morning, I'd like to order the new model online. Can you tell me about the warranty policy? Sure, there are no extra charges. You can make a claim for a refund or replacement, even an exchange, if you are not satisfied with the product within seven days after the product has been delivered. Esa es la eh, política de eh, garantía, ¿verdad? Thank you so very much, or thank you very much. If you need more information, you might visit our website www.shimmerandshine.com click on frequent asked questions eso significa estas siglas que ven acá ok, no la vayan a leer como feo ok ya me imagino cómo se leerá pero no vamos a leerla frequent asked questions, lo voy a escribir para que no se vayan a confundir y vayan a decir ahí una mala palabra, ok miren, frequent asked question eso significa esto ok, is there anything else I can help you with? no, thanks, good, you may have a good day sir ok, we have a conversation from uh, the beginning to end, okay? So, let's read it again. Pero quiero que se fijen en donde está may, en donde está might, para que veamos los usos, okay? Good morning, Shimmer and Shine Incorporated. How may I help you? Good morning. I'd like to order the new model online. Can you tell me about the warranty policy? Sure, there are no extra charges. You can make a claim for refund or replacement, even an exchange if you are not satisfied with the product within seven days after the product has been delivered. Oh, thank you very much. If you need for more information, you might visit our website, www shimmerandshine.com and you can click on frequent asked questions. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thanks. Good, you may have a good day, sir. Okay. ¿Vieron dónde está May? Did you see where May is? A ver. Escribamos las preguntas donde está May. How may I help you? En la anterior decíamos how can I help you? ¿Sí? How can I help you? Aquí estamos diciendo todavía de una manera mucho más polite, de una manera mucho más eh, amable. How may, may I help you? How may I help you? Es como mucho más respeto, ¿ok? How may I help you? How may I help you? Veamos la siguiente, ¿dónde está might? Might. Aquí you estamos might en... visit. Ajá. You, you might visit our website. Ok. You might visit our website. This is a probability, okay? This is a probability, a possibility, and also is like giving advice, right? Giving advice. You should do this or you should do that. In this case, you might. It's a probability, probability, okay? Now, let's... See, where else we have may? That is not a question. 
En una que no es pregunta que tenemos may. You may have a good day, sir. Okay. You may have a good day. Okay. Entonces, vamos a ver si podríamos. Cool. Excuse me, uh, uh, Giovanni. Me lo da copy, 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 copy. Does it have copy here? Nope. Okay, then I have to write it down again over there. Oh no, ahí lo dejo. Okay. In this case, in the first one we said, it's an offering, okay? En la primera decíamos que es como ofrecer, hacer algo de una manera muy polite, ¿verdad? Ofrecemos, puedo hacer algo por usted, ¿verdad? Pero de una manera sumamente respetuosa, okay? Luego, you might visit, you might visit, es como usted podría visitar, okay? Como un advice, pero al mismo tiempo es una posibilidad. Si quiere, él lo hace y si no, pues nos llama, ¿verdad? Hay otra opción. Entonces, you might visit our work. Then we have, you may have a good day. También lo utilizamos para expressing wishes, ¿ok? Cuando usted quiere expresar un deseo para alguien, usualmente se dan las tarjetas, ¿verdad? O usualmente cuando hablamos... Eh, eh, dando como un support, ¿verdad? como dando un apoyo a alguien, podemos utilizar may. Ok, may. Que tenga un buen día, señor, ¿verdad? You may have a good day, sir. Es mi deseo que usted tenga un buen día. Ok, entonces para expresar esos deseos utilizamos may y utilizamos el verbo en. Um, sería como infinitivo, pero sin to, ¿verdad? No lleva to, es como el verbo base, ¿verdad? You may have a good day. Now, let me go there. Les quiero hacer una pregunta luego de esto, ¿ok? I want to ask you a question. How was the last purchase you did? How was the last purchase you did. How was the last purchase you did? Was it dissatisfying or was it satisfying? Did you buy something, anything lately? When did you last uh, buy a product? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que compraron algo? A ver, um, agarremos a Linda. <laughs> I saw your face. I saw your face. So, okay. When did you last buy a product? Um, the last week. Okay. The last week. And how was the last purchase or that purchase you did? How was it? Was it dissatisfying or was it satisfying? Satisfying. Satisfying, okay. Uh, do you mind if, I mean, do you, would you mind telling us what you bought? Um, I don't know how do you say in English, las cremas de las de faciales. Oh, facial creams, uh-huh, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Your yeah, treatment, facial, facial treatments. Yeah. Okay, so the three steps. <laughs> yeah, the three steps. Cleaning, um, it is clarifying and moisturizing, right? Yeah, the three steps. Okay, and after you try the product, after you use the product, uh, were you satisfied with how, with the function of this product? How it function? Yes, uh, I bought the same product. Oh, okay, it's a repetitive. Okay, 
Yeah. Okay, so you are a um, loyal customer to that brand. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, okay, good. Good. So um, what about the price? What about the price? Was the same price or did it increase? Did it increase? Uh, I get I got a promotion. Oh, so it was on sale. I mean, in a special. Yes. Okay, nice. So more satisfied, okay? More yes. satisfied because you saved <laughs> yes. some money, right? You, you saved some money. Okay, good, good. Yes, I, I paid uh, two products and give three products. Oh, okay. Then they gave you one for free. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so if you see, um, when Linda went to buy, she saw that they had this product on sale. So I can get three products and I just paid for two, right? And I just paid for two. So she got satisfied with that purchase, right? She got satisfied with that purchase. So what about, um, for example, let's see, Mm -hmm. Carlos Eduardo, what about you? How was the last purchase you did? Satisfied. Satisfied? I mean, yes. Okay. Would you mind telling us what was the product you bought? Excuse me. Pizza, pizza I can barely hear you. I'm so sorry. Could you repeat that for for us, please? Uh, yes. Could you repeat, please? Okay. Would ah okay. Now I understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't under, I didn't get you. Okay. Would you mind telling us what? was the product you bought? Oh, okay. Uh, it's a tablet. Okay, let's see. For example, it was a tablet. Okay. Why did you feel that this purchase, this purchase is satisfying to you? Um, it's all is all uh, um, a feature is all be okay uh, to who I want I want to buy. Okay, it I, has all the features that you needed. It, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, nice. And when you tried the product, did it function well? Oh, very good. Okay, nice. And is what you were expecting for, right? It, yes, or it what they offered to you, what they offered to you. They didn't lie, right? They didn't lie. They say okay. the truth. The truth. Yes, say the truth. Okay, they, they said the truth. Okay, now let's go and see in, um, <clears throat> in our manuals, we have a survey, okay? We have a survey. In this survey, we have a customer that is talking about an experience with his purchase, okay? So let's try to understand what happened to this customer, okay? And let's read. Okay, let's read, let us read. It says, how satisfied are you with this product? Very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied? Which one of these three? Esta está de más. Okay, very satisfied, satisfied, 
dissatisfied. Okay, and the customer checked on dissatisfied. Number two, rate your opinion about the product's quality. High quality, average, o sea, una promedio, ¿verdad? Average, low quality. So, which one of this he, um, and very low quality. Low quality and very low quality. Which one of these did the customer check? Very low quality. Now, let's see number three. The value of this product is excellent, good, poor, very poor. What did he check? Poor. Will you continue using this product? Yes or no? Huh, what did he mark? What did he, I'm sorry, what did he mark? He, uh, he marked no, oh my God, right? So let's read the questions and let's try to understand or to see, visualize the vocabulary, okay? Cuando hacemos una encuesta, survey es una encuesta, survey, okay? It could be a poll too, poll, P-O-L-L, -L, a poll, okay? A questionnaire could be another, right? But survey is the most common way or a strategy of uh, merchandising to uh, know about opinions uh, referring to the product that we have in the market, okay? So let's see, or that we offer. Let's read the questions again. How satisfied are you with this product? Number two, rate your opinion about the product's quality. Number three, the value of this product is, will you continue using this product? Will you continue using this product? Okay, now let's try one by one. Okay, Edwin, please read number one. How, sa how satisfied are you in this product? Okay, it is how satisfied are you with this product? How satisfied. Okay, Nancy, number two, please. All right, read your opinion about the product quality. Okay, it is rate, rate. Rate, uh -huh. rate your opinion about the product quality. Okay, number three, let's read it. Ana Cristina, please. The value of this product is? Correct. Number four, please, Kevin Antonio. Sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. Please read number four. Number four. Will you continue using this product? Thank you very much. Now let's see the options. Okay, the options. Do you see the options? We're going to read it. Very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, very dissatisfied. Okay. Ah, uh, no estaba de más. Okay, very dissatisfied. Now, the second, it says high quality, average, low quality, very low quality. We can visualize from the most to the less. Okay, the most to the less. De lo más a lo menos. 
It's up to you what you want to know and what you are investigating or doing a research, okay? It depends on what. Um, but in general, we have an example here of an experience, okay? This is a customer's experience. Now, let's go and see the questions we have based in that information because we have to analyze the information from the service, right? So let's read number one. How was the customer's experience? How was the customer's experience? Como la calificamos? Was it satisfying or was it dissatisfying? What do you think? Satisfying. Dissatisfying. Uh -huh. Dissatisfying. Okay. Now, is the product a good one or a bad one? Bad one. <clears throat> okay. Number three, think about possible problems the customer had with the product. What problems can we have with a product? Mm -hmm. For very low quality. Okay, very low quality. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What other problems could this customer had have with this product? What do you think? ¿Qué problemas podríamos tener o podría haber tenido este cliente como para estar tan eh, insatisfecho? Product vencido. <laughs> okay. Expired. Mm -hmm. It's expired. Uh -huh. What else? What else? It says the value of this product. Value. Is the value the same as the price? No original marca, no me recuerdo cómo se dice. Brand. No original brand. Okay, not original brand. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. no, short, no sé si es short o, o uh -huh. short, uh, duration. Okay, short, good. Duration. Duration or endurance, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. endurance. endurance. Short. Mm It didn't function well or properly, okay. Mm -hmm. What else could be? Very expensive. I, okay, mm -hmm. very expensive. Oh, I changed the thing. I'm sorry. There we are. Si miran el manual, ¿verdad? 
Yes. yes. Okay. Very expensive. Okay, this, this um, list could contain uh, some problems that could happen. So we could say, these might be, okay? These might be the reasons why this customer was dissatisfied, okay? This might be, might be, okay? Now let me erase these things and we are going to continue to the next page, okay? And let's see. We use may and we use might. Asking for permission is one of the uses, okay? Asking for permission is one of the uses. The other is probability, okay? Probability. Una probabilidad eh, de que algo pueda hacerse o no hacerse, ¿ok? Hablamos entonces de positivo y hablamos también de negativo, ¿verdad? Lo mismo con might. Might eh, y may son muy similares, ¿ok? Might y, y may son muy similares. Pero might no lo utilizamos mucho ahora, si antes se usaba y podría encontrarlo, y podrían encontrarlo incluso en películas o en en lenguaje muy formal en libros, en donde might se puede utilizar pidiendo permiso, o sea, asking for permission, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita veamos cómo se usa en el sentido gramatical y después vamos a ir viendo cómo se usa en el sentido de significado, ¿ok? So, I may ask for a reason. I may ask for a reason. Ok, yo puedo o voy a poder, ¿verdad? I may ask for a reason. You may buy at a different store. You may buy at a different store. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expectations. Estos son probabilidades y al mismo tiempo está diciendo un advice. Ese es otro uso que puede dar un consejo de algo que podría o no podría hacerse, ¿ok? So, let's read it again. I may ask for a reason. Veamos gramaticalmente, tenemos después del sujeto, tenemos may, y después del sujeto, de may, perdón, tenemos el verbo thing to. Miren, aquí no hay to, ¿ven? Sino que así, solito el verbo en su forma base. I may ask for a reason. Nunca vamos a decir I may to ask. Ok. Vamos a decir I may ask for a reason. You may buy at a different store. Y si se fijan, para ninguno cambia. Todos permanecen igual. May, may, may. No decimos it may, ¿verdad? No cambia. Se dice it may, he may, she may. Without the letter S. Okay? Lo mismo sucede con might. Miren. Might. Después del sujeto. El sujeto puede ser cualquiera. Singular o plural. Y no cambia. Y vamos a usarlo con un verbo. Sin. To. Ok. Así solito el verbo. La forma base. Entonces. Si se fijan, gramaticalmente se usan muy similar, ¿verdad? Might want, may ask. Aquí podríamos poner may want, ¿ok? Y aquí podríamos poner might ask, ¿ok? Se usa eh, muy indistinto en estos días, ¿verdad? Eh, casi no se siente la diferencia y eso es lo que a nosotros los que no nacimos con ese idioma, nos cuesta un poquito entender el significado porque lo usan indistintamente. Entonces, no tengamos la pena de decir, ay, pero ¿y cuándo lo voy a usar? Pues, ¿verdad? No, no, hey, calm down and think. ¿Para qué se usa? For permission, ¿ok? May. 
um, for advice, you can use both, okay? May and might. Um, for just uh, giving advice or saying what to do in a very polite and a very soft probability way, then you are gonna say may or might, okay? Then we are going to see over here, for example, Cuando un cliente eh, llama, ¿verdad? Normalmente, o cuando una persona pregunta acerca de, o se queja acerca de un producto, ¿verdad? Eh, normalmente, uno tiene que darle las opciones de qué hacer con ese producto, ¿sí? Options, offering options. Entonces, para ese, ese momento nos va a servir may and, mass, and might, I'm sorry, may and might. So, for example, a, a customer called. Imaginémonos que es el de la encuesta, okay? Imaginémonos que es el de la encuesta y dice, I'm really dissatisfied with this product. Entonces yo le, uh, viene el cliente y me dice, may I ask for a refund? Okay, may I ask for a refund? Entonces yo le puedo decir con may, Yes, you may, okay? Or, uh, no, you may not, but you can, ahí le ofrezco una opción, but you might make an exchange for the same value, okay? Okay, no le puedo dar el refund, pero sí le puedo dar eh, un cambio, ¿verdad? Un cambio a otro producto con el mismo valor, el mismo precio. If you see, uh, may I ask for a refund? Esto lo podemos utilizar. Déjenme usar acá. En el positivo, right? I may ask for a refund. Okay. Or, for example, I could say, me en pregunta, may I ask for a refund? Ok. Y si, por ejemplo, ya en la información, esto no es con el cliente que estábamos hablando, ok. En la forma negativa. I may not ask for a refund. Ok. Y lo usamos completo. Miren, aquí no hay contracción. I may not ask for a refund. Correcto de la forma gramatical, ¿ok? I may not ask, may I ask, I may ask. Ask en este caso es preguntar y es lo que estamos, o pedir, ¿verdad? Es pedir. Aquí no es preguntar, es pedir. Entonces, esta es la forma gramatical. I may ask, en pregunta pongo al principio may, ¿ok? Y si, por ejemplo, quiero una pregunta de información, entonces ya le pongo eh, una WH question. ¿Estamos entendidos hasta aquí con May? Sí, bueno, con May. Uh, ¿Qué parte? Esa parte. Esta, ok. Cuando ya es una pregunta de información, entonces le agregamos una WH question, uh, question word. Podría ser where, when, ok. ¿Correcto? Sí. Ok, vamos con might ahora. And it says, for example, she might ask for a refund. Ok. Entonces, venimos y esa sería la forma positiva. She might not okay ask for a reason ahora la pregunta might she ask for a reason okay en este caso este might no es sola no es como pidiendo un permiso como fuera con may Okay. 
Aquí este might es más como la posibilidad, ¿verdad? ¿Podría ella pedir un reintegro? ¿Verdad? Might she ask for a refund? If she's not satisfied with the product, okay? Sería como el show, show. Yes and no, because they have, well, similar uses, similar uses. But grammatically, you can use should, yes. Mm -hmm. You can use should. Mm -hmm. Should también es un modal verb, okay? Y es en el, está en el, en el mismo, en el mismo apartado, ¿verdad? También está should, está must, está might, may, could, and so on, okay? Se usan exactamente igual, pero tienen diferentes significados, okay? Gramaticalmente, prácticamente son igual, ¿ok? Pero se usan en diferentes situaciones, ¿ok? Ahora vamos entonces. Ahí sí responde, pero acá no. Ok, ya. Yeah. There we go. Ok, here we say create sentences using the words provided in may or might. And then we have to write a complement when it is needed. Ok. Esta actividad la vamos a dejar para el día de mañana. Y el día de hoy vamos a tomar el ejemplo de la conversación que les traía al principio, ¿ok? De esta disertación. Si ¿Sí se miran las slides. ¿Se ve la slide? Yes, teacher. Ok, thank you. Now. Okay, this is the conversation again. Good morning, Shimmer and Shine Incorporated. How may I help you? Good morning, I'd like to order the new model online. Can you tell me about the warranty policy? Sure, there are no extra charges. You can make a claim for refund or replacement, even an exchange if you are not satisfied with the, with the product within seven days after the product has been delivered. Thank you very much. If you need for more information, you might visit our website, www.shimmerandshine.com. Click on Frequent Asked questions. Is there anything else I could help you with? No, thanks. Good. You may have a good day, sir. A ver, we want to listen to... ¿Hay alguna pregunta acerca de esta conversación? Richard. Mm -hmm. uh, pron pronunciation is... Um... Uh, is there uh, is there an is there a need else of course to have you with here within seven days no en la penultima de, antes de no times is there anything else I could help you with uh, is there there anything else? anything else Mm -hmm. yes. Thank I you. could help you with anything else. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay, so is there anything, any other question that you want to ask? No questions? In the survey, um, 
And number three, the value of these products is it select so the poor. Mm -hmm. What is it poor? Poor, pobre, okay. deficiente, poor. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. So now let's listen to Edwin and Juan Carlos, please, with this conversation. Edwin is the agent and uh, Juan Carlos the customer. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Shin Mir and Shin In. How may I help you? Good morning. I'd like to order the new models online. Can you tell me about the warranty policy? Sure, there are no extra charges. You can make a claim for refund or replacement, replacement, even an exchange if you are not satisfied with the product within seven days after the product has been delivered. Thank you very much. If you need for more information, you mean visit our website www.shangmerandscience.com. Uh -huh. Click for factors. No, 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 no. <laughs> On fact, uh, fact. No, 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 don't say that word. <laughs> Por eso les puse la, la lectura. Frequent <laughs> asked questions. Oh my God. Eso yeah. sí se les quedaba. <laughs> Ajá. <laughs> You're right, Silvio. Oh my God. Okay. Repeat, teacher, please. Frequent, letter F stands for frequent. Letter A, asked. And the letter Q with the letter S, questions. Okay, I'm going to write it down again. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, because that's, uh, oh my God, that's, if you are swearing here, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, frequent mm -hmm. asked That's question. Question. Okay. There you are. Okay. There you are. <laughs> You are going okay. to find this in Google. If you look it up, um, you are going to go, I mean, it's going to take you to, to websites, um, for example, companies that they offer a product and they list and they are giving information for uh, that frequent question, okay? Uh, una pregunta que todos podríamos hacernos, ¿ok? Ya está listada ahí para que uno vaya y haga su propio troubleshooting, ¿verdad? Que uno resuelva su problema sin necesidad de eh, un agente, ¿verdad? Entonces, esas son las frequent asked questions, ¿ok? Continue, continue, please. I'm sorry. Okay. Click on frequent ask question. <laughs> Is there a nearing else I call help you? I call help you with. Is there anything? Anything else I call help you? Help you with? Uh huh. No, thanks. Good. You may have a good day, sir. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Now, guys, it's almost 10. Um, it's almost 10. So what problems do you think a customer can have? Okay, what problems do you think a customer can have? ¿Qué preguntas podrían ser? ¿Qué problemas podrían ser? O existir. A ver. Ideas? Wrong color. Okay. Maybe if you bought online, wrong color. Size. Wrong size. Uh huh. What else? Something is broken, right? 
a part is missing, what else do you think? It could be a problem. Um, that's just so. mm -hmm. Less accessories. Accessories, uh huh. Accessories, uh huh. Maybe they didn't um, include, okay, they didn't include the accessories that were listed, right? On the, on the um, catalog that you chose, right? Mm -hmm. So do you say uh, compatible? Compatible. Compatible. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. It's not compatible. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. It doesn't work. Okay. It doesn't work. What else do you think, guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm... I'm looking for the list here and I can't find it out. What happened? G60. Here we are. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance for the third time. And um, the session one on one tonight is for Edwin. Edwin's turn, okay? Are you staying, Edwin? Hi, teacher. Okay, today is your turn. Ahora es su turno para la sesión uno a uno. ¿Se va a quedar? Uh, yes. Okay. Let me take the attendance then. Teacher, one, one question. Tell me. Uh, the survey uh, uh, number two, mm -hmm. rate. What is rate. It? Um, como calificar, pero darle un, sí, una calificación sería, right? Ponderar, no está, right? No está bien ni mal. ¿Mm? No está bien ni mal o algo así. Que el producto mm. no, o sea, no es ni muy bueno ni muy malo. Mm, rate is giving a qualification. O sea, es, rate es como, ¿han oído ustedes la palabra rating? ¿Han oído la palabra rating? Rating. Rating. Mm -hmm. Ok. Rating, rating es una medida, ¿verdad? Es una medida. Tiene cuando, rating, dice, ¿verdad? Cuando tiene mucha afluencia. Ok. Tiene bastante. ¿Ya? Entonces, yes. eso se ha quedado como una medida, ¿verdad? Que es bastante. Tiene rating. Tiene bastante gente que llega. Ok. Rate, el verbo rate, lo que significa es darle la medida. Ok. Que a measure, right? Una ponderación. Una ponderación, yeah. Okay. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Okay. Ana del Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Ay. Okay. desarrollando <laughs> Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez Present. Okay. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas Present. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Ok. Hello, Karina. Hello, teacher. Ok, I didn't see you, so I was like amazed. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. 
I appreciate, guys, that you uh, Me came teacher, tonight. present. Okay, Carla, I'm sorry. One second, and let me read you. I am here. Okay, but I just wrote, ah, oh, because I was the maid about Karina. That is why maybe I just jumped in, right? I mean, jumped out. It was Carla Veronica Surya Lopez, present. There you are. Present, present. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay, guys, is there any other question that I can help you with or uh, do we stop here? No questions. You sure? Okay. Va. Perfecto. Entonces, uh, let, let us meet tomorrow. Please be on time and do your homework. Okay. Have a good, good night. night. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Bye, bye. 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 Teacher, mañana voy a tratar de estar de oyente, por lo menos. Voy a estar en cierre. Ok. Voy, voy hasta medianoche, pero voy a tratar por lo menos de estar de oyente hoy. Ok, perfecto. Perfect. Ok, uh -huh. bye. Ok. Hello, teacher. Hello, Edwin. Just let me see, because Carla is still here. Carla, <laughs> are you there? Bye-bye, Carla. Have a good night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> okay, good no night. problem. Good night. <laughs> bye. 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 Eh, teacher, okay, que Edwin, me, me acuerdo, me. me acuerdo que tenía algo por aquí que anoté, pero no lo encuentro. Uh, pero... Okay, take your time and find it out. Take eh, your time, busque. Desde, bueno, desde que me dijo estaba buscando, pero no me acuerdo. No sé si yo okay. creo que no, no tengo algo otra pregunta, la verdad. Okay, ya, you sí, tell me. Eh, que no sé, pero siento que poco a poco le voy entendiendo más. Por ejemplo, ya. Si veo algún texto, trato de leerlo en cualquier lado que vea. Entonces siento que ya algunas cosas ya me familiarizo más. Entonces ya por lo menos unas dos que tres palabras y la otra ya trato de ver qué dice. Ya como que se me hace más fácil. Good, Pero good. Este, de ahí por lo demás creo que, creo que ahí vamos poco a poco. Ok, nice. Yeah, I have seen you that you are improving. Sí, he visto que ha mejor, has mejorado bastante. Yes. Así uh -huh. que mejor vamos a descansar. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, my pleasure. But remember that you can reach me on WhatsApp too if you want. And you have the question, then you ah, ask okay. me. Okay? okay. Si la encuentra, Thank please text you. me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay have you. a good night, Edwin. Bye-bye. <laughs>